Okay, this uh, lecture is on brown kill, and here's a really good example of what happens with uh, the defoliant glyphosate, glyphosate, and uh, look how it's nice and green here, and it's uh, brown there, even though it's been cut. And then it's green again on the other side. So what it does is completely removes the chlorophyll. And then you get this uh, brown strip going all the way up there. And a uh, nice demarcation between green and brown, green and brown. Okay, and then look at this is right beside a natural preserve, a slough. I can see the dragonflies, I can see the frogs, the tadpoles, uh, but it's obviously going to drain into that and uh, cause ecological harm. And let's walk over here because this is interesting. So even though it's cut, see it's been cut here on this side, but it stayed green, but where the glyphosate was sprayed, no. Okay, now read that sign. It says environmental boundary, wildlife management area. So they sprayed <laughs> right up, right up to the line, right up to the line. So I guess they followed what was legal. And anyway, uh, down the other way for miles and miles, the glyphosate trail, the Roundup trail. Uh, remember, I'm trying not to touch it, but remember, uh, definitely associated with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And you don't want to get that because that can be fatal. Uh, not a nice thing to suffer through. Uh, and again, right on the boundary of the wildlife management area. And there's the uh, Golden Ears Mountain from the west side still has snow on it uh, that snow drains when melted into this area this addington slough which is a wildlife area okay thank you dr ordog ending brown kill okay brown kill again all right this is a blueberry patch you can see here, just finished flowering, the uh, blueberry buds are forming, still some flowers left, uh, little buds for little blueberries, actually there's some nice blueberries right there, uh, it's still green though, but they've used uh, an herbicide, obviously glyphosate probably, Roundup, uh, associated with non-Hodgkin lymphoma. And uh, I guess for the farmers, just to show them, uh, look, you spray it on the uh, grass, kills the grass. Uh, and you can tell it's been sprayed because the tops are green kills the chlorophyll, gets rid of the chlorophyll, turns everything brown. Okay, but look at the blueberry plants where they sprayed are smaller. And look at what they've done something to this one. This one's uh, actually dying here. Okay. Uh, remember, associated with non-Hodgkin lymphoma, you don't want to get that. And these are the blueberries that you eat. Hundreds and hundreds of acres of them. Miles of them. Miles and miles. Miles and miles. Okay, and look at the, uh, there, the side of the uh, trail here. You can see the brown kill there, brown kill. Obviously an herbicide that destroys the chlorophyll. And there it is, brown, brown, brown. 
probably most likely glyphosate roundup associated with non-Hodgkin lymphoma in humans you don't want to get that patients with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma suing the chemical companies okay obviously not sprayed here that's good okay that's good but sprayed over there <laughs> all right thank you very much Okay, here's a sign out in a park uh, where they've used an herbicide and you can see they used Roundup glyphosate to kill Himalayan knotweed and Scotch brown PUL. All right, and it was uh, applied September 8th, 2020. And here we can see the damage it's done. See this area is nice and green. Buttercups and uh, forget-me-nots. Lots of buttercups, maple, vine maple. But starting right there, it's all it's the brown kill. And it goes all the way down into the water of Hayward Lake here. This is Hayward Lake. Anyway, that is called the brown kill. It killed the ivy too. Uh, there are, look at blackberries coming up. There's uh, volunteers. He's, that's what they're trying to kill, but it only uh, killed everything that was present where they sprayed. The brown kill, it's called glyphosate, herbicide, causes non-Hodgkin lymphoma proven by the World Health Organization. So glyphosate, herbicide, brown kill. They also spray this on food crops. So we're all exposed to it. All of your, most of your wheat, grains, rice, uh, etc. Even corn is sprayed with uh, glyphosate to get the brown kill to increase the uh, harvest yield and make it easier to harvest. So anyway, this is uh, on Hayward Lake, draining into Hayward Lake. And uh, this is the, uh, the sign. And this is the other side of the sign. Notice herbicide, spot treatment of invasive plants. Okay, and they did this, um, you know, eight months ago, and uh, the area is still dead. Brown kill. Look at they killed that uh, fir tree. It's falling down. Dead. Okay, over and out. Uh, Hayward Lake, beautiful Hayward Lake. Um, Man-made lake, reservoir, uh, part of the uh, old Stave River. And the Stave River was named by the Hudson Bay Company because the wood along each side of the river was good to make the staves of barrels to uh, pickle the salmon and ship it to Hawaii. Hudson Bay Company. Uh, many hundreds of years ago, 1700s probably, uh, this happened here. Okay, I believe the dam was built, uh, State Falls Dam. There was actually a falls in the Stave River at this point, and they built a hydroelectric dam in 1907. My grandfather actually built it and then ran the dam and uh, drove the train between State Falls and Mission and lived actually on this exact spot.
that I'm speaking from. And uh, this lilac bush was in their backyard. My grandfather, oh, and there's a nice monarch butterfly. Beautiful monarch butterfly on the lilacs. They smell very good. Beautiful monarch butterfly. Yes. And the lilacs smell very good. This is the lilac bush I believe my grandfather planted. Oh, and look at there's his uh, cherry tree. Okay, that's not natural. That would have been planted. It goes way up there. It's a hundred feet high. It's an old cherry tree. So that was planted by my grandfather and uh, their house uh, provided by BC Hydro because he worked here and ran the plant was uh, right on this spot. It's no longer here. There used to be a gazebo here, but even that's gone. Okay, beautiful lilac. Again, uh, do not eat the lilac. Every part of this plant is poisonous. And again, it's, uh, I believe, cyanoglycolates toxicity. Beautiful lilac plant and beautiful lilac leaves. Okay, from Hayward Lake, talking about glyphosate, brown kill, toxicity, causes cancer, including lymphoma, and there's the evidence of what it does, brown kill. Okay, thank you, over and out.